Yet another example of weak and feeble leadership by Rishi Sunak, the Prime Minister, or as Joe Biden would say, Rashid Sunuk. Yes, the Prime Minister once again is hiding behind other people and is trying to please everybody at the same time without actually leading the country. So, as you guys know, every Saturday we have uh, the pro-Palestinian and pro-Hamas protests. Essentially, it's anti-Israel protests. Uh, and, but next weekend, next, next Saturday is Remembrance Day. Armistice Day and next Sunday is Remembrance Sunday. You would think those two days will be skipped at least, but no, no, no. On purpose, they are bringing in, they have said, they are bringing in a million people from across the country to London for that day to disrupt the service. The Prime Minister says this, to plan protests on Armistice Day is provocative and disrespectful and there is a clear and present risks that the Senator and other places will be targeted. Something that uh, obviously we, it will be a, a, a affront to the British public and everything we stand for, words, blah, blah, blah. The right to remember in peace and dignity those uh, who have paid the ultimate sacrifice uh, for those freedoms must be protected. Again, just words. And then he says, I have asked the Home Secretary to support the Metropolitan Police in doing everything necessary to protect the sanctity uh, of Armistice Day and Remembrance Sunday. What does that actually mean? So, there are countries, uh, there's so-called liberal and socialist-leaning countries, like France and Germany, who have already started deportations. They have started to ban these hateful protests because not, these are not uh, the, uh, the sort of protests uh, that individuals in the country, citizens, uh, could say, well, I have a right to protest because I'm concerned about this policy. No. This is a hateful march and rally against Jewish people. We know that because they've said it. I'm not saying it. They've said it during the march. Now, there are individuals, absolutely, who get drawn into these rallies and they're, because they've been told that um, Israel are the bad guys and innocent civilians in, in Gaza are dying. Yes, we know that. There are those who just get drawn into it. But the leaders, the organizers, we're talking about that. Now, there's been some reaction. Peter Whittle, for example, said from the New Culture Forum, at a time when visible, vocal political leadership is required, we get this statement only. Let's be clear. They are calling for one million protesters, shipping in people from a, a northern towns like Batley. They are aiming for a show of strength on a day of huge cultural significance to Britain. Peter is right. Nigel Farage said, Our Prime Minister should simply say that we will block the pro-Palestine Palestine rally from taking place on Armistice Day, but he won't, because he is gutless. I agree with Nigel as well. Then we have other comments like this. Uh, the Prime Minister is hiding behind uh, Mrs. Braverman, Suella Braverman, but the police already pay no attention to anything that the Home Secretary says. That's a very good point. Once again, they are throwing Suella Braverman under the bus, that was a statement from Rishi Sunak. Well, yeah, I've spoken to uh, the Home Secretary, and she, she, it's, it's her job to look after the Sanatov. You're the Prime Minister. You can call for the protests not to happen on that day. Tell him to do it on Tuesday, on Wednesday. I don't care. But he's blaming, well, he's shifting the blame responsibility to, to Suella so that when things go badly, she will take the blame. Also, we have uh, Stephen Barrett, uh, one of the, the friendly barristers and lawyers to the channel, who appears on the channel regularly. Stephen said, It is clearly within the scope of Article 11 and the right to protest uh, to ban certain protests at certain emotive times. Banning this protest would be lawful. And that is coming from a lawyer. Now, let me know in the comment section what you think about what's going to happen in next weekend. And, of course, tomorrow, Saturday, 4th of November, which is going to be another round of protests in London, I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.